one of the things that uh, really was a driving force to me was uh, I got a life-threatening illness and uh, and I had third stage cancer and I was really looking at, you know, my mortality and I thought to myself, you know, what if I, I've lived, what if I don't live very long and I haven't done all the things I really want to do and so I started writing healing music, soul stirring music, healing music, it was, it was like world healing music, not specifically for just your health and it really, um, it really helped me. I believe that it was one of the things that helped me to heal. My grandfather is uh, part Native American and uh, from the Nez Pierce Nimipu tribe. But I had a dream about him, and in this dream, you know, uh, all the words to the music, uh, to this song, and this vision came to me. And he said, uh, "You've been given a great gift." And uh, and it just, this beam of light came and it was in the form of an egg, you know. It never even really occurred to me what the symbol of a the egg was or uh, new beginnings or creation. It's a turning point because I really took my gift of music seriously and that was my gift. Uh, when I was uh, in, my, in my 20s, I had an experience uh, that just like really changed my life. I got picked out of the audience out of 12,000 people by Barry Manilow. Went up there and got to sing a duet with him uh, in front of 12,000 people at the Salt Palace. The stage he said, uh, he said to everyone, uh, including me, you know, never give up on your dreams and uh, and so I, I haven't ever given up on my dreams. And when I got the taste of that, to be standing on that stage in front of all those people and singing, and, and um, he could hardly believe that I wasn't in a coma or anything. I just went along and did it all, you know, held hands and sang. And actually gave me the nudge to actually take it seriously. And I started um, writing music. I started, uh, as, I, as I progressed, I started performing and uh, I, and I did a lot of things uh, that involved copyrights and uh, copyright law uh, from that moment forward. And before that time, I didn't, never even thought about copyrights. I didn't even think about that. And, uh, and what that meant to not only me, but the people I work with and other people that I collaborate with and they create uh, whatever part that they play or they do. Sometimes you have people that try to take credit for what you do or some people, I've even had music that people have taken and then they've tried to make it their own and people that I've known and so what I have done is, you know, I have everything under copyright, my name, I have all the documentation, everything, when I wrote everything, you know, just having that helps me to feel more secure. I wanted to write self-esteem building books for children. I felt like that was very important. I didn't really have much confidence at the time in my own ability to write, so I hired someone who was referred to me who was um, a best-selling author here in Salt Lake City. And then I hired illustrators. The character, the main character, Vippy, is a VIP private investigator mouse, and he looks for people, kids and people doing good deeds. and. Uh, and children and very important people and to help children, children to realize that and so my ultimate goal is I want to be able to have a, a children's television program and with the videos uh, I don't know if you you got a chance to see one on they're like five minute little uh, videos of a book and uh, and it has the music and all of that so I create the music write the music uh, for them and so I've really enjoyed writing music, children's songs and music for this project. And so, you know, what I'm looking to do is something much larger than what I've done with the books. It's like the universe is pulling me along. I get an idea in my head and then all of a sudden, before I know it, there I am in the middle of creating and doing this. So that's one of the reasons, you know, I really feel like you know, that's I, why I'm going to be well now. Also because I am really living who I am and being what I'm supposed to do and what I'm, what I'm here on this earth to do. I don't regret anything. You know, I don't regret 
anything that's happened to me because everything that's happened has led me to something else. From the gods above, sweet messenger, you were sent to me to deliver.